Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 6 of my Material Energy 5 playthrough. Hey, there we go. And... I want more coarse dirt, I think. Well, more dirt in general. Play, right? What the heck? Where is the withering skeleton? There he is. Hi. Mm, he didn't drop his bow, though. It had withering from Ender.io on it, so... Oh. But yep, no, I, I want to get some clay so I can make, like, conduit binders, stuff like that. And, uh, there seems to be an easy way of getting it. At least for now. Also, I get silicon dioxide from dirt, which I can use to make things like gravel. Hey, I finally feel comfortable holding, you know, handling this thing. I'm only broken a couple thousand blocks with it. Well, maybe a thousand, right? Uh, start about 500 and 750, so 1,200 blocks. Yeah, and I have a feeling I'm going to end up excavating this entire uh, chamber. Oh, they want my shovel. All right, cool. Coarse dirt, there's that. Uh, I need a piece of copper, please. Yep, oh, have a slice of cake. Because apparently, cake is good for morale, at least according to the sentient AI that is controlling everything. Uh, yeah, I think I should probably just go ahead and get rid of all this. I mean, I've got a, a far superior potato farm inside, so. Yeah. For some reason, I thought that was a, a smaller block just floating there. I took out the waterfall, too. Oh, hey, it's too dark, it says. All the potatoes are popping off. And there was more. It's like Irish popcorn. And, yeah, let's just go ahead and take this down. So, let's see. Found out the hard way, between episodes as well, that uh, melon slices don't break down. Melon blocks do. So, that is kind of a... Uh, a thing. It'll slow down my uh, any production on those is what the problem is. But I think I can use pumpkins, right? Uh, pumpkins? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, they just get me kookaburra tin, though. They don't really... Oh, well, not like water's hard to get. I just... The reason I glossed over last episode, you just have to uh, basically combine hydrogen and oxygen. And it's like, oh, look, water. So, I mean, water's really not all that hard to get. I do kind of miss mine chem at times, so. though. But, you know, alchemistry's a pretty good mod, too, actually. I do rather like it, so. And something else I'm doing here is I might be setting up a, a bit of a mob farm in this one. So I'm trying to get it flat, but there's... I'm thinking they used MC Edit to make this, and the noise tool left, like, gaps, little holes everywhere. Like little one-block holes. So... Oh, hello. Oh, well, there's the gold. Cool. Now I can make a whole whopping four gold ingots. And finally get that quest done. And shovel broke again. Tell you what, it'll be nice to get better tools. Or 
There we go. Now, doesn't really show or not. Uh, do we have dynamic surrounding HUDs? No, just, just dynamic surroundings. Okay. Uh, that one will actually show if a block is a spawnable block or not as well. So I'm pretty sure that mobs can't spawn on path blocks. And if that's the case, then it just got, um, we got a lot more handy, I should say. Hey, there we go. Quest completed for gold, which is here and there was no reward and it didn't unlock anything. All right, well, I think that was more of an informative thing. Like, hey, keep your eyes open. There's gold in this, you know, little pocket here. Let's see. So biological weapons. Still working on the beetroot soup. And. Yeah, a simple furnace would be a nice thing to have, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's just go ahead and we'll favorite all these. You can actually use JEI's little thing from the, the questing screen. You don't have to open the recipe first. Kind of nice. Uh, can I just make like one of those? Hey, sure can. Can I make two? Yep, only two though. I need more iron bars, which I can go get and then I can chisel them into whatever I need, but. Um, can I do, no. Here we go, use up my spruce wood because we are dealing with applied energistics, so. I need quite a few of those. And I'm gonna need like three furnaces at least. Boom, simple powered furnace. Done, should be a quest complete, it is. Basic reward is going to be a flint and steel. And I have completely forgot about these, I don't know how many times now. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. So these are my tier one tinker tools. And yeah, pretty much just more of the same, it looks like. Magical wood, basalt, and paper, and regular wood. So basic reward is a carbon. It'll get used eventually. Melons, cookies, and interiors. Now, is there anything I can do with these? Because honestly, I'm a little afraid to eat the damn things in here because God knows where I'll end up. But now I can take that guy on out of here. And I should probably go ahead and bring this. Only thing up here now is my tinker stuff. Eh, not the end of the world. All right, let's go ahead and drop charcoal and that off. Let's go ahead and probably get this thing set up again. And we'll put the carbon in. There's you, and that can go there. And now I should be able to just do that. Getting power. It's not very fast, mind you. I mean, it's not a whole lot of power here. But it's a solar panel in the end, so it always produces power. Let's see if I want more smooth stone. I can just go ahead and drop it into there and call it good now. I'm thinking, let's go ahead and try to make the sag mill. Simple sag mill is that. There really was no, let's try to make it. Let's just make the damn thing. And I don't have my conduits on me. But simple sag mill is another basic reward of boron. What can I do with boron? I can make a boron ingot. Or I can turn it into lithium and helium. Or I can combine it with stuff. And so, put that away. Let's say, energy conduit, I just need one. And let's just grab a couple of these slightly larger chests, because I ended up with a lot of them, so. There we go, and you, my friend, you are going to... 
No, stop. You weren't supposed to grab those. Here, how about we do this now? You push to there. You're going to pull from there. And you will pull from there. And then, so I can drop things like my copper, you know, ore that I have just sitting around into the rightmost chest, and it'll work its way on over and eventually get cooked. Eventually. Hey, there we go. No, not that. That. So I can turn wheat into flour with this thing as well now. I can turn charcoal into pulverized and blocks into nine. Okay, cool. So you can do a block at a time. Cobblestone into gravel, sand, and flint, which is awesome. For various reasons, but it can actually be a kind of uh, energy hungry, I guess would be a good term, cobblestone generator with, uh, with alchemistry installed. All right, so Got the glowstone, and then I need all of this stuff, right? I don't need it. Lock in bar. Um, I was reading in the Discord. Apparently, that quest is a little bit broken right now. But yeah, kind of is what it is. I love how spiders drop coins. And there we go. Honestly, I should just be critting everything because I think two crits of the sword will kill just about just about everything. Honestly, how am I sitting on coins anyway? A decent amount. Okay. Well, we're going to unload the clips for now. And we're going to throw that into there. We're going to grab, organize that rare beast safari now. I'm going to load that back in. Because I'm going to go on a looting spree. I don't think I can do anything with Zek. Uh, I can paint it. That's about it. Okay. Painted glowstone, though. Um. Yeah, nope. But there's plenty of stuff, I believe, down in the labs that uh, I should probably be taking with me. Uh, basalt, I can just chisel it. Okay. Not a big deal then. Uh, banners. They work as fuel. Give me that, please. Thank you. I can get more slimy mud while I'm in here. Sandstone. Uh, more jungle wood if I want, and I can try to get a sapling out of that. That's just yellow glass. Okay, yeah. Now, this was... Iron trap door. And I love how the chests are all mounted sideways. I did not know the Skystone chest could do that. Oh, yeah, there you are. But also while I'm here, I can I get the stuff together to get more iron. And I can steal things like lights and painted stone stairs. I don't think do a whole lot for me. White concrete. I don't think I can do a whole lot with concrete though. All right. Uh white concrete. Base. I can break down two white concrete into five silicon dioxide. I'm not quite that hard up for materials. Yep, yeah, can't mine the laboratory block, so. So let's see. Yep. 
And he goes boom. So you are, yeah, future blocks, zombie spawner. And I mean, we do have Ender IO in here, so I could break the spawners and set them back up, which I could definitely do in the future. But for right now, probably not the best idea. Uh, let's see. Oh, once I get an induction smelter, I can these things back. Gotta love block updates, right? Into stone stairs, not a whole lot. Oh, hi. Didn't even notice you before. Now, how hard are these things to break up here? So I've only got a bone pick right now, so. I'm not even seeing breaking animations happen, so I'm going to guess I can't. How ah, about a button? Ah, uh, the trowel, big stone buttons. Want to buy key button? Yeah. Okay, so. And I've got a, a grumpy polar bear above me here. Now, like, see? Slabs, huh? I can combine them back into. Or I can drop them in for. Eh, it's not much of a chance to sell you those, so honestly. Oh, yeah. I just kind of did a smash and grab in here, didn't I? I, mean, I didn't even grab. So. Enter block, that's just stained glass panels. Oh, look, we got a spider. And. I mean, there was that chest with the uh, the cards in it, so I'm gonna grab the glass panes too, I guess. All right, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and probably. Good, you're fighting amongst yourselves. Good. All right, there's that taken care of. Okay, that guy hurts. Wow, yeah. Um, yeah. So let's pull it back, because I just kind of had a bit of an idea here. What happens if I uh, dry these? Nothing, okay. Just kind of curious. Oh, yeah, got shot in the back, finally. Oh, hi. So nice to see you. Hmm. I got shot at and immediately forgotten. Well, kind of surprised I survived that one. 
That's what I get for cornering myself, though, isn't it? Hmm. Why do I feel like there should be something else in here, too? So, hmm. yeah, there's a few more things I know in here that I need to take out. So I'm just going to take care of that off camera here. I'm going to try to kill not to die. And I'll come back if I find anything that's absolutely extraordinary. Well, in one of these things I never explored, the whole ceiling is congealed slime blocks. And one of these little holding pins. So I'm pretty sure that'll come in handy, right? Nope, okay. So that means I should check out this. Hey, look at that. And what is that? That's just orange concrete, okay. And I am surrounded by wolves right now. Which means if you have one slip up anywhere in this area, you're a dead man. Because they will all aggro on you. And then we got a couple squids in there. Yeah, I was taking these out because these blocks, the future blocks, you can break them, right? But I don't think anything was hiding behind them. Yeah, I think it was just a, an accent decision. All right. And... That doesn't really look like anything else around here, does it? Because, yeah, factory blocks are unminable, same with laboratory. Yep, nope, no luck. Oh, that was a pretty decent little haul there, though. Ancient iron trap door. I mean, I'm actually getting... Where'd... Oh, I forgot to drop that off. And it's a tool component. I think it'll despawn eventually. Right, so in this area... <laughs> literally the next room over... There's blood tanks, like, all over the place up here. And... Okay, it's just like, yeah, wood fences. There's iron bars for free if you want them. And that one had 10 buckets in it. Awesome. I can take all this blood and convert it into iron, so even better. And then we were occasionally run into a situation like this where insight. Uh, you know, I might want to actually go ahead and keep that because that'll make enemies drop more experience when I kill them with a bow. Now I've got four at seven, four at six, one at ten, and four at six and a half. I just managed to gather up quite a bit of blood. Now I can grab all these slime channels if I want as well. Which might not seem horrible actually, right? Um, yeah, I don't think I need arrows really. I mean, they are like conveyors and whatnot, but I don't really need to move mobs around per se. So I'm really not all that concerned about it, but my inventory's full, so I need to go drop stuff off. Alright, so I made it back and not really a whole lot else. 
after that level that I either A didn't get or whatnot. So, I mean, got a lot of blood that I left behind, but that was kind of about it. And I did miss uh, some some loot boxes, so. And I managed to grab the strong boxes. Oh, no, yeah, you did have so many, didn't you? Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's not what I wanted to have happen, though. I wasn't paying attention. You're empty, you're not? Okay. This is going to be hideous for a while now, but... And one more blood tank. Right there. There we go. <laughs> Lots of blood. And then we'll just do that so I can take that off. And I'm destroying the water because I don't have anywhere else for it to go right this second. Those away. Uh, I got, I'll open those later. Stack of sky stone. It's not bad. And a stack of iron. Well, kind of. Uh, let's go ahead and... Long machine. Do that. And now one thing else that... I think I may have put it away. Um, quartz. I actually managed to get some blocks of quartz, which is kind of cool. And they can go into here. Uh, actually, I found quartz slabs that I was able to craft back into blocks of quartz. So, kind of the same difference when you get down to it, though, right? And they give you two with a chance of extra... Um, actual another quartz chunks for you sag them. So yeah, we're up to, got eight so far, cooking up our sky stone. Oh, look, we've got some gold out of the, uh, the copper ore I ran through. Because, well, you know, gold is an impossible byproduct of copper. There we go. And we got 12, eh, not much, but it's 12 chunks there, so. Oh yeah, there's some basic rewards that I found somewhere. Basically just missing chests and whatnot, right? Copper shovel, iron broadsword, and a chest. Chest is something. More armor. All right. I'm feeling a little bit better now about that foray I just made because my armor actually kind of got beat up a little bit. Anything else? Uh, I can probably put away these guys. Hmm, really? Because it's painted, it won't work, huh? Weird. Now, glass panes I can use to make a few different things, and it doesn't really matter what color they are, it looks like, so... But, like, tanks and item frames. Yay. It was definitely worth grabbing those. Those will be nice once I get access to an induction smelter. All right. And I even killed the llama. And got a free piece of leather out of it, so yay. Now it comes time to get rid of all this blood. Oh. Yeah, I saw the salt in you. Hmm. So, yeah, I've got a lot of blood to take care of here. Um, none of it. Stop. You can go in here for now. And can you not do that, please? Ay. Ah, well. I can always put it back, right? So I was doing a little bit of uh, looking at recipes and whatnot. 
Because what I really want right now is some tin. So I'm going to take like a bunch of silicon dioxide. I don't know why I grabbed it here when I could have just grabbed it over at the alchemy lab. Uh, made a bunch of coal because I could. And I want to make diorite. Which is going to be this one here. All right, I'm going to just drop that in there. Get some diorite made up for us, which is awesome. And we're going to drop some mineral salt in here. Magnesium, sodium chloride, lithium, iron, potassium chloride. All right, we're done here. And now I can run that over to here and drop you in. And I got two pieces of tin. Got some indium, which apparently just makes ingots. But I can fission it into manganese and chromium later if I want. And I got some more manganese. Aluminum oxide, look at that. And then I can take and drop that back in there. And then drop you into here. And it's going to be a little slow going getting 10, but I've even got some osmium. Now there's no mechanism in this pack, so don't get too excited about osmium. Tell you what, I'll just do this, because honestly, it's not hard to get this stuff. What you can do is you can sag mill uh, stone, and it's got a chance of giving you sand. You, well, it gives you a bunch of gravel and then some sand. And you sag mill the gravel, and you can get more sand. But for right now, because I don't really have a whole lot of automation going on, read that as being no automation, except for ore processing. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to get 1610, I think. Now, one of the nice things is, is sand actually has a lot of silicon dioxide to it. And looks like you get a little bit of gold out of it. So let's go ahead and put like that away. You're still set for that. Um, okay, let's look at this, right? So sand is here, right? So it's four silicon dioxide a piece. And diorite is dead center. Okay, so I'm just going to unlock this. Because didn't I just run 16 sand through the thing? And then we drop you into here. 64. All right, well. Hmm. It's a one-to-one, -one, but it also gave me a little bit extra of gold that one time. So a chemical dissolver, 1% chance of getting gold. So you can just, hmm. It's like a really slow way of getting gold, mind you. But you could just send the sand back and forth. Yeah, I just got another piece of gold. All right, cool. You send a piece of sand back and forth between the combiner and, what was it again? Dissolver. And, well, you're sending the silicon dioxide one way, sand the other way. And then just skim the gold off the top whenever you're done. Oh, we're out of power. Which is why I make coal. Now, we don't have any mods in here that add, like, coal. Oh, we do. Ah, uh, thermal. That's right. But I need the pyrolytic conversion and a redstone furnace to make it. Now, creosote, I can just burn for power, it looks like. Neither compression dynamo or combustion generator. All right. I mean, it's kind of a thing. And in you go. Ah, oh, we're at 12 pieces of 10 now, right? Well, I can make 22 more of these. And cross fingers that we actually get the four pieces of 10. Uh, this stuff right now is a 10.53 chance. And I got one piece. Okay. See, I'm going to be doing 
the little shuffle game here for a bit until I can get, I'm getting aluminum oxide, which is rather nice though. And we'll just do that for now. And you can go here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be shuffling back and forth until I get enough tin because I want to make a crescent hammer. It's, I'm kind of tired of not having any uh, any tools, whatnot, any wrenches. And offhand, it would really would really help quite a bit. All right, well, I got my first piece of tin, which long time coming. And we got a crescent hammer. And I've got 211 iron. Quite a bit, actually. Quite a bit. Rather nice. Of course, you know, that 200 some odd iron turned into just 13 ingots. So it seems a lot better than it really is. But at the same time, it's still rather nice to get. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. Greenhouse. I am still kind of... Tell you what, let's go to the monument, though. It's been a while since I collected from these guys. And, yeah, I should check to see if there's a bowl around somewhere. Uh, let's see. Alchemy lab, and then I, from there I can go to the observatory. Okay. The observatory is just far enough away that you can't can't reach it. But hey, leather. How much leather am I at now? Uh, six. I mean, it's not as, not that great, but... What I should be able to do now, though, is... Oh, wow, you, uh, you give eight per bucket, huh? Oh, well. Right, and your blood and your blood. Cool. But I should be able to go yoink, right? Really, does it have to be? Okay, I think it just means that that side is doing the thing anyway. Hey, look at that, right? And then if I let's go ahead and break that, actually. Because what I could do is... Do I have any glass? Like, actual glass? No. How about I just get a piece of sand then? Because the cool thing is... <clears throat> water is a cool liquid. I can use regular fluid ducts with it. Also... Oh, sanguinite. I'm like, metallurgy add sandstone stuff? No. Nope. Unfortunately not. All right, so then I grab myself a hopper and grab some planks. Grab a drawer. Make a fluid duct. And I can go through now and be like, hey, you go there. Hey, look, <clears throat> look, it fills up. That goes there. Basic drawer is going to go here. And say, hopper is going to go there. And we're making mineral salt. And it's a little compact back here in this corner, but I will, I guess I'll deal with it. Now, can I make a servo? I should be able to, right? I need another piece of glass, huh? Tell you what, just get like 16. I'll pick that up later. Let's get like 16 for now. Oh, that's going to take a little while, isn't it? Go ahead and grab that, and we'll... Put like that stuff away. Really only need one fluid duct. 
And honestly, for this one, I can probably just get by with a chest and then another hopper. This is why you, you grab everything you can whenever you're in one of these areas. Because you never know when it's going to come in handy. Right, so servo. There we go. Get a recipe of those. And we will break that one up. Let's just go ahead and break this one as well now. Fluid duct. Servo. Ignore control. Filling up with blood. Awesome. Chest. Hopper. And should be done. And boom. Regulated blood. So that'll drain this tank here out. And then I can get rid of that eyesore. And I just need a way to automatically milk. Yes, you. Now, other thing. Uh, this is all just uh, stone. So that's not terrible then. Let's see, let's go ahead and grab some of that. And we're going to drop it into here for now. And I'm actually going to turn off your auto outputs. On both sides, auto input, auto output. And we're getting gravel now, which is eh, pretty decent. Which, you know, gravel is something we don't really have anyway. But let's see. You in a sag mill is sand, sand, and flint. Now this is a basic sag mill. Can't take flint to speed things up any. But hey, we're turning cobblestone into sand. And then we turn the sand into, you know, run it through the dissolver. It'll give us four silicon dioxide. And now... In the combiner, silicon dioxide, one will turn into two cobblestone. So you can actually just make, sit there and make a loop of it and just generate tons of cobblestone without too many problems. Thing is, is you have to be able to start making things like, uh, let's see. Here we go. Yeah, like our dissolver is a magma block, pistons, and iron. Magma blocks come from either magma cream or a bucket of lava in an evaporator. And then we need obsidian, a diamond, and piston to make ourselves a combiner. All in all, not terrible, but, you know, it's not something I can do quite yet. How are we doing? Yeah, hey, we got 11 in there already. And we're up to a stack and a third of that, or a quarter. Cool. And Alchemy Lab. So now I can just go through and be like, hey, make me lots of iron oxide, would you? And then start making me mineral salts. And you can break down the iron oxide for me. And uh, let's see, that's what Roughly 10 pieces of iron out of that. So not, not great, but not horrible either. And then like the oxygen excess stuff I can just put away into there. And put that evaporator away there too. And you can run through some mineral salt. But hey, free copper, more iron, sodium chloride and potassium chloride. Not sure what I need these for yet. So obviously breaks down potassium and chlorine. Combine it, oh, obsidian. Fertilizer is urea, diammonium phosphate, and potassium chloride, okay. Magnesium oxide, potassium chloride, aluminum oxide, and silicon to make Okay, so I can use it to make obsidian with. How about potassium? Obsidian breaker. 
uh, potassium into ingots, potassium nitrate, which is hmm, gunpowder, well, nitre and gunpowder. All right, potassium chloride, carbonate, which is a recursive recipe, okay. Dichromate, which also comes from, okay, it's orange dye, gotcha. Permanganate is purple dye. Potassium cyanide has an effect when consumed. Uh, yeah, what else gives us this, though? Oh, pufferfish. Something tells me I don't want to, you know, try drinking the cyanide then. But I can run it through the fission block and get neon and fluorine. So, yeah. There's things we can do with this. And, yeah, that's my leather pants for now. But we get down to it, it's going to be a case of... All right. I always forget this. I'm up higher. And then I always try to right click. Oh, look at you. You did the thing I didn't want you to do quite. And nope, no poison potatoes. But we did get ourselves some of that now. Uh, let's go back to the alchemy lab. Got four melons. Break those down into uh, cooker of bitikin, bitison, which is really heavy on the carbon and hydrogen, not so much on the oxygen. Which means it would be actually a really good chemical to be using to make the uh, Grains of Infinity. Because everything, all the other carbohydrates have more oxygen. So. And I'm missing some carbon now, huh? Hey, look at that. And I can do that. Oh, a little bit of hydrogen. Hey, yeah, I've got some. Not tons, mind you, but some. A grains of infinity. And honestly, I'm just going to leave that there. Now, there were some other things I could use. Using infinity dust block to make stuff like, hey, wither skeleton skull. And let's see. Reinforced obsidian, which I've actually got a few of. But there's not much I can do with it. In steel chassis, I've got the bars and this now. I just need in steel ingots. Then I need enhanced dye blend, which is, yeah, gonna require some other machines. So, yeah, all that fun stuff. I forgot to harvest that while I was over there. Beetroot. And my ender lily's actually almost grown, which is kind of nice. Nine more, yeah. I'm getting there. And I found out also <laughs> uh, the fun part uh, uh, beetroot soup does not stack. Where are we at here now? Uh, just 28. Operates 50% slower in non dry biomes. We are in Mushroom Island. I think that would be a non dry biome. But hey, coagulated blood. And it's draining down a bit. So, I mean, we're getting there. And honestly, once I get the blood taken care of, I don't really need to worry too much about the... Uh, I'm doing blood again in the future. The mineral salts, I mean, it would be less efficient, but it gives me iron as well, so... I've gone ahead and pretty well gutted that for now. So we're going to pop you into here, 
Blackstone Glow. Well, let's look at that chapter again. Going too far. I still need ice. What do I have in here for water? I've got a whole whopping 23, which I can make more without a problem, but tell you what, give me some of those too. And I can leave that and that behind. Um, yeah, baked potato and bread are roughly the same. But seeing as all I'm getting out of the endermites in here is basically mushrooms, which I've got one of each of now. I'm going to try to run through here and pop as many of these as I can before it gets nasty. What I need is an enderman around here. Is it? No, it doesn't go up further that way. One of them spawned. I just don't know where. I do hear him occasionally. Uh, over, he's in the wall, I think, so. Should be pretty safe, honestly. And I'm surrounded by obsidian. Here we go. Let's see. There's that spawner there. I'm not really seeing any others though, so we're just gonna rush in and try to get this. All right, cool. Honestly, I should add like redstone to my pick. Seems like it might be a good idea. Okay, yeah, I see another one right there. Dead end. Yeah, it's looking like it. Hmm. Ah, literal dead end. There's like no way out of here. Which means, thank God that that one actually dropped four four glowstone dust. That could have been a long wait, waiting for something to pathfind down to me. Uh, so we're up to seven spawners now. I'll tell you, it was kind of weird, too, because I usually play packs that... Well, it seems like most packs have actually additions in it now, so... I'm used to seeing the spawner shards pop in. Okay. Go this way now. Oh, hey, there was a quest about that fluid, wasn't there? Quest complete. All right, awesome. So I get a little bit of levitation. And okay. 
Invader, your actions have caused the colony great harm. If you agree not to murder, shatter any more of us, we will open a way forward. A great evil threatens your dimension. We can help. Okay. Way forward will be opened. And so... All right, cool. Uh, anything else around here? Nope. Glowing sea hidden pose. Craft a mystical object that affects the world around you while held in your pocket. IRS wants 32 psilocybin and it'll get me some silver coins. Okay. Quest is repeatable even. Okay, nice. Fill the food vats. 32 mushroom stew. Eliminate mold spawn. Invader, you must destroy the mold spawn creatures that creep around in the dark caves below. Eliminate many and we shall become grateful. Okay. Mushroom bounty. Clear out a portion of the infestation and return with proof. We'll reward with valuable metals. Unlock silver cave. Cool. Uh, the ultimate test of your conviction lies in the destruction of our enemy. All spores are Born from a single powerful source. End the source. Bring back a sample of its fluxed mold. We will. We vow to be bestow our aid in return. I'm going to need a lot of bowls. And is that? Oh, please tell me these damn things stack. Because you can only have thirty. There's only thirty six inventory slots. Other than that. All right. Awesome. Well, I am going to actually. Turn around and go back to base and call this an episode, honestly. It is uh, probably well past point to, uh, to wrap up. And the main thing I wanted to do was find that little that pool, so I succeeded with that. But I'm not really... Uh, hmm, set up to go caving especially in, in this area because there's a lot of places where that jump boost would be really nice right about now what quest is that uh let's magnetize i've copper coins for jerky yeah now wasn't there a a way to get no. There's glowing. Oh, I need to kill one more Endermite. Oh, geez. I should have been paying attention to that quest. I think I broke all the spawners. There's the Magnetize, though. Oh, that's right, because the Jump Boost is already in my system. So I might try to, uh, to use that for in here, because honestly... Is that a way in, or is that another? Imagine that's why all these uh, Zythe blocks are around here, though. here and then like so yeah I need to bring in like a stack of cobblestone or something with me as well yep here we go ladders might not be a bad idea but I wasn't really paying attention and making sure I had good ways out, which is horrible to me. I really should have known better. And I managed to lock out just barely. All right. So let's go ahead and get on out of here, like I said. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. And 
I'll see what I can get together for some caving supplies, pretty much. Wow, eight spawners. The arrows was a good idea, though. Multi-shot one actually works out pretty good. But thank you for coming out. Hope you're enjoying the series, and until next time, the sign signing out. Have fun.